Coffee, mate. What? Coffee. What sort of coffee? What sort of coffee? Fucking brown coffee, innit? What, instant coffee? Coffee. Well, like, where you put a spoon in, in a cup and stir it? Yeah. Do I, I look like a pikey? Coffee comes brown or white in a mug or a cup. Do, 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 I look, do I look poor? Do I look like a tramp? Just I live in a van. I'm, I'm quite refined, you know. I'll, I'll bring my own coffee in. Thank you very much. No problem. Just get that, just get that kettle boiled. Oh you, oh, you want water though? Well, I don't need water, but, you know, at least you can have, you, you know, you've got to be of some use, haven't you? I'll, I'll put the kettle on. I think you should. I think it should already be on. Where's the bacon? Like it at 65, 70, 80 or 90 degrees, the water. A hundred. Are you, are you doing like bacon and that? Oh, look at Mike grinning there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, okay, Mike. Mike wants a proper coffee as well. I'll get to the kitchen, sir. Get in there. Get in there, servant. Next time, bring it out when I'm when I'm when when you wake me up. Anyway, I'm on the phone to South Africa. Straight in the drawer. Right, I've got a spoon. Why have I got a spoon? I've got a spoon because I'm cheeky. I'm cheeky and I'm spoony. Look. That's Dan's honey from Dan's bees. Proper honey from his hive now. While well, nobody's around. Look at that, it's proper, proper with the comb and everything. Look at that, combing. Let's have, a, let's have a spoon of this. Look at that, proper Welsh honey. Dan's Welsh honey. That's sublime. It's really good. Bugger COVID, I'm having a second spoon. Yeah, go on, go on, try go, on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Oh, that was. Mm. <laughs> Do you reckon we can pinch that without Dan seeing or noticing? He's, he's seen us now. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Fucking thieves. Mm. Hey, that's good, that's good. It's good, honey. Bee juice. No, no, you're supposed to say, <clears throat> it's yours. No, <laughs> not the whole jar. Da, 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 da. That's all I've got left at the moment. It seems like the three of us are all nursing bad ankles. Not yeah. bad heads, actually. Not bad hangovers. There's Mike. He <laughs> is. Dan is. <laughs> Mike Tendonites came back. That had gone for the last few days with a surfing and a diving and all that. And now it's really bad. So I've got perineal tendonitis. Went to chiropractor three times just before I came away every two days. So I've got an ice pack on it. I've got ibuprofen gel. I take the ibuprofen and paracetamol. So the problem is we've got trolleying along the beach to do. So it's a bit bad. I just, just shrieked a little while ago. So... Dan's coming with, with uh, some bandaging, look, because I've got to make a meal of this. We've we've reached civilization. We're in Aberystwyth. It's taken us forever and a half. Um, man, there's there's a Morrison's, there's a McDonald's, there's a B and M, there's a Halfords, there's a Curry's. Um, it's one thirty three a litre for the, at the Morrison's. I'd have thought. You know, I thought, brilliant, we go to a supermarket, a chain supermarket, we might get some reasonably priced petrol. It's just ridiculous around here. Anyway, poor old Mike's been following me, poor old Dan's been leading, so I'm going a bit slow for Dan, and I've been either rocking out or wigging out, depending on whether I've got the damned on, or a bit of Hendrix, or the animals, or whatever. So, I've been having a cracking little disco here. I'm a disco man. Oh, you've been shopping, haven't you? Been shopping. Spending all my money. You bought a bag. Bag of goodies. Oh god, lovely pen reel there. We're outside Abba Fishing and Tackle. Brilliant. Not the most massive selection, but we had everything we needed, so. Lucky red pants. Lucky red pants. Lucky red pants. Lucky red pants. <laughs> the luckiest red pants. <laughs> so here we go. Parked up. Two in in Wales. Look at that. So scenic. Beautiful. So we're rigged up. We've got the kayaks. There's Gung near. Mjolnir. We're all there. And we're gonna have to. We're all here. Yeah, <laughs> that's the name for yours then. <laughs> Young near, Mjolnir and all here. <laughs> Brilliant. What are we doing, Dan? What are we doing? You brought us here for what? Uh, we're going to go and fish for tape. That sounds good. 
and we're going to catch Tope. Hopefully, I'm going to get a big bull hus. Never had a bull hus. What do you reckon? You're hoping to catch a goby? Try not to fall off this time. I've never not caught a bull hus here. <laughs> Good. So, fingers crossed. That'd Sweet, let's do it. Here we are, in the river. What's this river called? Yeah, it is. What's the matter? There's the railway bridge. Ain't the river Kwai, is it? No, no, definitely not the Kwai. Good. That's a classic example of a rip. So the waves that come in left and right with a flat middle where the water's coming off, that's what you want. That's superb. There he is. Look at that. What a beauty. It's a good 20. Right. Now, grab the leader. So in front of the lead, Okay, put the rod, put the reel into free spool. Keep that, and then, right, and then into the rod holder behind you. Now, watch those teeth. Yeah. Grab the petrol fin and pull it on upside down. It might run. It's a female. Look at that. Oh no, that's bigger than 20. Now hold it, pin it down, pin it down. Let go of the line, let go of the line. Just pin it. It's gone crackers. <laughs> He's gone nuts. Keep away from the teeth. Now bring it forward. Put the, put the tail over around you and bring the head in front of you so we can get those teeth out. Look at that. What a beauty. Look at that. Keep your teeth away. I'll get that uh, hook out. Okay, tight on. Yep. Tight, definitely. Right, let's see if I can land this one this time. I reckon I must have it around the fin or the tail or something. It's going mental. We love it. The way this ran us good fish. All right, it's turning me. It's going up tide. There's the trace. The lead's gone. Yes, tope on. Oh, this is a good fish that really ran. I went under the boat. Look at that. Solid 30. Hooked in the scissors this time, thankfully. She's in the bag. It's a good fish. Good female fish. Look at that. Give it some welly! The guys are in no position to help right now. Look at that beautiful fish. Look at it, beautiful, another tope. I've uh, had two bite throughs, one snapped on the uh, bow, but this is uh, this in the boat. Beautiful, isn't she? Mm -hmm. 
love you baby so let's get you back I'm the man I'm the superman in my red pants well this little this little fishy came in tail wrapped grabbed his tail went mental bit my paddle now he's biting my boat I've got to deal with him somehow taupe number two and this one was angry Okay, so there's another taupe, so uh, let's get you in the water. There she goes! Woo hoo hoo hoo! <laughs> Dogfish! Hero. Hero of the day. There go the socks. So what do you think of fishing at two and then? It's uh, challenging, getting back. Yeah. Just a little. No, the fishing. But absolutely brilliant. The fishing was brilliant. Wasn't it just? First tote. Yeah and man. How many species today? Four. Sweet. So that can't be bad. That ain't bad at all. Here we go, celebratory batches gold cider. And Tanny Castle Bakery Welsh Cakes. Welsh cake for you. Nice. Yeah. What does that mean? Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Oh, right. Go on, Welsh cake for you. Oh, good. Thank you very much, to, sir. To the English. You're very welcome. Yeah. And one there. for me. They have. <laughs> they're free. I'm always like these. So, like, so, put. So, that's two in. I'm going to head off in a minute. Find my spot for the night. What a beautiful location. Great fishing. Fantastic day. Absolutely. Really Super good to see you both. That was good. Superb. It was great to see you. Yeah. Well, we had over 20 tote between us. Yeah. Marvellous. All us. Matt some Gould. of them we managed to get in the boat. Yeah, I want to say. <laughs> some, some of us didn't. <laughs> yeah. Some of us were definitely using catch and release tactics. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Cracking day, though, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Take care, guys. You're always welcome cool. back. Cracking 24 hours. Cheers, Dan. Cheers, yeah. guys. Nice one. Thank, Thank you, you very catch much. You, catch you at home, Mike. Yep, yep. So I've parked up for the night. We had a cracking day's fishing on the taupe, just over there. Sun is starting to go down. I'm taking advantage of the last bit on my solar panels. Look both ways before crossing. Down along here are the anti-aircraft gunnery ranges. Practice at Tonfano practice camp. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I reckon this was a toilet block. This was the ablutions. What do you reckon? Yeah? No? Maybe? I did need a pee. What a beautiful spot. Must have been heavenly to be stationed here. A nice evening like this one. Down here. The hold fasts for one of the gun positions. So these were 3.7 inch Vickers anti-aircraft guns. Look at that. So that's what they would uh, drop the guns down onto and secure them with. They'd be firing over here. There'd be drones towed by Queen Bee aircraft, they were called. They were Tiger Moths and what have you, towing a big sock. All around there. Bang, bang, bang. Looking down at the cliff edge, obviously over the years there's been some erosion. But that potentially could have allowed the guys to get down there. Chill out, relax, fish, or maybe it's covered in barbed wire. 
There's a pipe poking out there. It's not a gun barrel, I doubt. Maybe drainage. But it's hold fast. And this is incredible. So there's quite a few of them. And to think that my grandfather was here in 1943 the 254 battery 81st heavy anti-aircraft regiment while they were stationed at Orkney and before they went off to North Africa for armament practice it's glorious I don't know how many more years before this all goes into the sea but at the moment what fabulous history to have all these here still I mean look this one here looks like it's in mint condition. Looks perfect. Must have been his. Look at it. It's so peaceful here. I'd love to go out there and dive and see if I could find some fuses or something. Well, this one here is right on the edge. Cliffs eroded. At the front of it. Might be good to see a bit of uh, depth for an idea of how strong the concrete was. Look at that! Pretty cool, isn't it? That was worth waiting for. There's the gun sights ranged along the coast. Oh my god. It's a brothel. Well it looks like I've just found a Welsh nightclub. Hey baby. <laughs> oh my, you two are a bit forward aren't you? Good night, Ton Fanau. And there goes the sun on another fantastic day.